So in today's book we read, the cows were writing letters to Farmer Brown requesting things for the farm. And what we're going to do today is practice our own letter writing. And we're gonna learn a little bit about writing a friendly letter. There are some specific things that we usually include in friendly letters. And so I'm gonna go through those now. So a friendly letter, to give you a definition, is um, a written message sent through the mail, usually sent through the mail to either a friend or it could be a family member. And there are certain parts to it that you need to always include. So I'm going to go through those and talk about a little bit about what should be in your letter. And then I'm going to let you guys give it a try. So you start at the top with the date. So I put May 6, 2020, because that is today's date. Next, you're gonna start with the next very important part of a friendly letter is you have to address who you're writing to. So we usually start a letter with dear, and I'm gonna put in a pretend family member that I'm writing to, and I'm going to write to my grandmother. So I'm gonna write dear grandma. Now, you'll notice that I capitalized dear and I also capitalized grandma because that's her name to me. And then I'm gonna finish my greeting with a comma. So I have dear grandma, that's the first part, my greeting in my letter. Next, a friendly letter usually includes a couple of parts in the body. That's the next part that I'm gonna show you. Usually you ask how somebody is doing, tell them something that you've been doing recently, something you've been up to, and then finish with a closing statement saying that you miss them, you can't wait to see them, some sort of finishing statement to say that you're done with the letter and then that's it for the body. So it could really be just maybe three sentences long. So I'm gonna start with a question because I wanna know when I'm writing my friendly letter how someone is doing. I haven't seen them in a while, so I'm gonna ask, how are you? Then I'm going to tell her something that I have been up to recently. I have, do you notice how many sight words I'm using in my letter? A lot of sight words. It's helpful to have those letter, those members, those, it's helpful to have those words memorized so that we can use them in our writing, right? So I have, been reading a lot. I've read a lot of good books recently. So there's something I've been up to recently. I asked how she was doing. I told her something I've been doing recently and then I'm gonna finish with a closing statement telling her I'm done and one last statement just to say, I miss you. And I put an exclamation point at the end of that because I really need it. I used a period at the end of the sentence because I was just telling her something. And I used a question mark at the end of my first sentence because it was a question. So I used all three different types of punctuation for my sentences. The last part, I have my date, I have my greeting, this is the body of my letter. Now I'm going to put my closing and signature. So it's my grandma, so I'm gonna use a, a closing statement saying love. You can also use words like from or sincerely, but I'm gonna use love because I love my grandma and I'm going to sign my name. Now, I did a little cursive. You don't have to do that. You can just write your name. But there's my closing and my signature. And that's it. A really simple, quick look at what a, a friendly letter should include. I have my date, my greeting, the body of my letter, closing, and signature. That's all there is to it. Have fun writing your letter.